your WeatherAid certified most accurate forecast. Fox 54 weather. Now, Emily, I think I'd give it a try, but I just feel more, <laughs> I, I don't know, I just feel more comfortable in an actual gym. Yeah, I don't, I don't exercise. Mm. This is terrible, but I would rather skip a meal than go to the gym. <laughs> Because I'm not like an active person. But now back when I was in college mm. and stuff, walking to classes, mm -hmm. I would run some. But uh, that I would probably give that a try. It's like I told Kanisha, it reminded me of the mm. Wii Fitness. Oh, I yes. That. I loved that. Well, uh, speaking of working out indoors, you might want to do that tomorrow because it is going to be another hot day. And we could see some storms like this pop up on our Fox 54 radar once again, especially once we get into the later part of the afternoon. So we did see a pretty good line moved through earlier this afternoon. Uh, some heavy rainfall, frequent lightning. We did see uh, severe thunderstorm warnings come out of these, and we actually got a few damage reports. All of these are wind-related, but it's like Jordan and I have been talking about for the past few days. Our soils are overly saturated, so uh, trees and power lines are pretty easy to knock over, uh, especially today since we had some rain yesterday. Temperatures right now are kind of cool, though, compared to what we saw this afternoon. Mid-70s in Huntsville, Fayetteville, 73 in Pulaski, mid-70s in Florence 74 in Russellville and Fort Payne currently sitting at 73 degrees. Temperature is actually going to warm back up just a little bit before we hit our low temperature for the overnight. So I'm expecting temperatures to warm back up into the mid and upper 70s for the rest of the night tonight. We could see a chance of showers and thunderstorms move through. It's about a 50%. Mainly this is really going to come uh, probably sometime after midnight. So majority of us probably going to be sleeping upper 70s, like I said. And so it's going to be uh, kind of we could uh, hear some rumbles of thunder throughout the overnight tonight. That's because we've got a cold front that's off to our west. That's going to be moving through sometime tomorrow night. Uh, but right now our satellite and radar is dry at the moment. Speaking of tomorrow and it being hot, we do have an excessive heat warning. Uh, this is actually going to continue throughout the overnight and really it's going to last until 8 o'clock tomorrow. So excessive heat warning, meaning we could see heat index values as high as 115. But I do have good news. Once that cold front moves through, it is going to bring some drier air into the Tennessee Valley and notice these heat index values. We're going to be back in the 80s heading into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But of course, we're going to warm back up heading into the end of this week. So here's our future cast. I'm going to talk about the rain for you. Notice tomorrow we're just going to see some clouds move through here and there. Once we get into the afternoon, that's when we could start seeing some of the showers and storms uh, pop up. But this isn't going to be the main line of storms we're expecting. Like I said, we're going to have some that's going to pop out ahead of that cold front that moves through. And some of these could be on the strong to severe side. Uh, so we're going to have to watch for that. And what I mean by that is damaging winds. We could see some hell, frequent lightning, uh, basically our summertime showers that we typically see here. Uh, but notice what this cold front is going to do. It's it's going to dry out the Tennessee Valley. We're going to have high pressure build in back behind it. So we're going to have a nice few days after we get through tomorrow. It's going to be much comfortable. Dew point is going to be back in the mid and upper 60s for your Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's also going to keep our rain chances uh, pretty much at bay, except for Tuesday. That rain chance is going to come early Tuesday morning from that cold front passing through. So your seven day forecast looks like this. I was very tempted to put 100 tomorrow, but I'm thinking 99 is uh, where we're headed. Some of us could reach the lower 100s, but notice we're going to be back in the low 80s Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. A warm up headed our way once we head into the back half of this week and into the weekend. We'll get muggy once again and we'll see scattered showers and storms in the afternoons.